Hey guys, Randy Pike here in the Tegan studio. I want to go over today how to solder an RX-8 Gen 3 speed controller. We've updated the posts, so I want to show you a couple of tips and tricks that kind of apply to the new speed controller. This will also work on the RX-4. So let's take a look at the tools that you're going to need to require to do the soldering job. First off is a pair of scissors to cut the insulation jacket on the wire. A pair of needle nose pliers is always helpful to hold that wire while you're soldering onto it. Some good 60-40 rosin core solder. Make sure it's rosin core, not acid core. And last but not least, a good soldering iron. I use Haku 936 iron, so rated at 60 watts. And make sure you have a good tip on there. I use eighth inch pencil tips pretty much regularly. So make sure you've got a good solid larger size, size tip to solder on this RX-8. Let's get started. The first step on soldering up the RX-8 Gen 3 speed controller is going to be pre-tinning the solder post. So what I do is I put a little bit of solder on the tip of the soldering iron, apply a little bit of heat to that post, and then start adding solder slowly. And you'll notice that it pulls up right into that post. Once it's done, just go ahead and remove the tip and move on to the next post. You're going to do this all five times. One for each post. Once you're done, just keep going. Take advantage of that tip being nice and hot. Make sure the solder is flowing nice and clean. It should be shiny when you're done. You're going to do all five posts all exactly the same. Soldering is all about prep work. Getting it all prepped so when you're done and ready to solder that joint, it goes right into place without any issues. Just like that. So the next step is to be able to take your wire and cut off about eighth inch or a 3 16ths of an inch of that jacket around the wire. And I just set the wire up here when I'm doing all this. And same thing, you're going to pre tin this wire. So again, a little bit of solder on the tip. Apply the heat and start adding the solder. You'll notice that the wire sucks it right up. If you're using the included Tekken 12 gauge wire, this is our flex jacket wire. This wire is pre tinned and it accepts solder very, very well. So it shouldn't take more than a couple of seconds as you can see. So the first wire I'm going to solder on this thing is I'm going to solder this wire horizontally, which is pretty typical of an RX-8 install. So grab it with your needle nose pliers and simply set the wire up on top of the post, apply the heat from the iron, and you'll feel it all kind of flow together. Once you're done, remove the tip, hold that wire for a second, let it solidify, and that's it. As you can see, this solder iron, everything right here, it's nice and shiny, which is what we're looking for. There's some installs where maybe you need to solder your wire on vertically, so let's show you how to get that done. Put a little solder on the tip of the iron. We're going to use our pre tinned wire, and we're going to simply match those two up, the post and the wire, and you're going to flow the heat right into the tip, and you're going to notice that wire sits right down into that post. Remove the heat, hold that wire until everything solidifies, let it cool for a second, and then you're good. As you can see, a nice, good, clean solder joint. Soldering on the RX-8 Gen 3 is pretty straightforward to do. Now, the same updated post set's also on the Tekken RX-4 as well. So, soldering on that speed control will be the exact same process. Thanks for watching.